Hey, this is Jonathan with the PyCalendar team, and in this video, I want to show you one of our great shortcode options available in PyCalendar Pro, which allows you to filter by taxonomies and specific terms. So let's quickly take a look at our documentation, and you can see that, like I've mentioned, this is available in the Pro version only, but what we can do here is take a look at this example, and it's showing us that we can filter our events on the front end by whether they're in a specific taxonomy and what terms we want to show from that. Then not only that, but we also have the ability to add the operator, which allows us to do some more kind of comprehensive filtering here. So let's take a look on our site. I have this news page and on that I'm showing only events that are categorized as news. And then on my homepage, I'm showing everything else except those items that are categorized as news. So I wanna show you what that looks like real quick. If I edit this page, you can see I have taxonomy equals category. That's just the default WordPress category. Then I have the terms equals news. So this pie calendar is only going to output items that are categorized in our default category with the term of news. So if I were to go look at my posts, you can see that this class right here is categorized as teaching. So that's not going to pop up. However, my Labor Day party and my new studio opens are categorized as news. And that's why we can see those on this front end here. Then conversely, on my homepage, I'm showing everything except those two posts. And I've done more or less the same thing here by going taxonomy equals category, terms equals news. And then I just added an additional attribute here of operator is not in. And that's going to show, like I mentioned, everything except the news items. So this would allow you to do a lot of really comprehensive filtering. If you have category terms, you can filter by these. Or if you have custom taxonomies, like let's say you have something like locations and you only want to show events at a specific location, you could do that. So this works with both the WordPress default categories and tags, as well as custom taxonomies. Now, the other thing to keep in mind is that you could get even more granular and take advantage of the other attribute that's available in our regular version of PyCalendar, our shortcode option of type. And we have another video on that if you'd like to see more, but this will allow you to also filter by post type so you can combine that again. For example, I could add in the type attribute type of schedule, because that's our custom post type on this site. Now, this isn't going to return anything. So what we could do is something like take a look at our locations and then we have studio B. Our taxonomy here is going to be locations because that's the name of our custom category. Then our terms is going to be studio B. And then for the operator, we just want to show everything that's in that. So we could just simply remove the operator. Now, if we update this, then we get the same result here. We're only going to see posts that are in that. Now, this particular example doesn't actually require the type attribute to filter out our schedule here. Um, and that's simply because this location's taxonomy is not shared between multiple post types. But if we did have this locations set to both our schedule and maybe let's say something like our offices or team members, maybe where the team member works, then we can start to combine these together. So we can say type of schedule, locations, and our terms. Now, the other thing to keep in mind is that our terms allows a comma separated list of posts. So let's change this real quick to a type of post. And then our taxonomy is going to be category. And then in the case of our posts here, because that's what I'm working on, we can filter out, let's say we're going to do health and teaching. So what we can do is for our terms, we can say health comma teaching. We'll update this and view on the front end. And now we're going to see our instructor 101 and our healthy eating. So now we're going to just take a look at these posts. So instructor 101 is teaching and our healthy eating seminar is under the category of health. But again, we're not seeing our Labor Day party because that's in news. New Studio Opens is also in news. So as you can see, the combination of both the taxonomy operators as well as the type attribute gives you a ton of power and flexibility. If you have any questions, please feel free to reach out to us at pycalendar.com to learn more, and we'll be more than happy to help you. Thanks so much for watching, and we'll see you in a future tutorial.